Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Last year, Microsoft has released one feature in Microsoft Power BI. With the help of that, you can directly view your Power BI reports or dashboards in your OneDrive or SharePoint. However, recently they have updated this feature again, but still this feature is in preview. What is the update? How to use it? What are the limitations? And what are the things that you should consider about it? I'm going to let you know in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. First of all, if you are coming over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and contents. Now let's head over to my laptop and I'm going to show you what setting you need to enable very first. As you can see that I have logged in into my Power BI portal. Over here, you have to go to the admin settings or admin portal. Here, you have to simply type SharePoint. As soon as you type the SharePoint, over here, you can see one setting which is available. Users can view Power BI files saved in OneDrive and SharePoint. Please do remember that this feature is in preview, so I would highly recommend you to do not use it for your production workload. There may be some changes in this feature which can impact your production load. So be careful when you are going to use this feature. So click over here. Here you can enable it, which I have already done. You can also done this. Without enabling this feature, you cannot view your reports or dashboards on your SharePoint or OneDrive. Now I'm into my OneDrive. Over here you can see that on my screen I have lots of reports over here. So how you can preview this one? The one way is that simply you click on it and it's going to open into a new browser or you can also click over here the three dots over here and see open open in new browser once you're going to do that it would take some time and at last you can view your report over here now let's coming back to the point meanwhile this report is going to get lowered that what was the limitation for this feature previously only the import mode power bi reports can be viewed over here however now, if your report is connecting through live mode or live storage mode to any of your semantic model that also you can preview over here or you can use it. As you can see that this page has been loaded, but it doesn't have much information. So let me go and try to open any other report over here. For example, this sales and returns. And yes, it has been open over here. First of all, you can use your bookmarks. You can even use high contrast colors or page view settings. Also, you can change it over here. Secondly, if you would like to share this report with your colleagues or anyone outside your organization whom you have allowed access, then you can click over here and share link. That's how you can do that. Otherwise, you can also come over here on right hand side top corner and you can start sharing from here or you can copy link or manage the access. So there are a couple of ways how you can share it. Now coming to the point, if you would like to download this report, you can directly download from here. You can simply click on this download a copy and it's going to get downloaded over here. Now, another point that you should keep in mind that if you would like to check the version history, that also you can do and you have to simply come onto your SharePoint or your OneDrive. There you have to click and you can see that I have only one version over here. And if I would like to download, I can do that over here too. So this is the way how you can preview your Power BI reports or dashboards directly into your SharePoint or OneDrive without going to the Power BI service. However, there are certain prerequisites as well. First of all, you should sign in into your OneDrive with your Microsoft Intro account then you should have either Power BI Pro or PPU or E5 license over there. Otherwise, you cannot use this feature. Lastly, you should have at least read-only access. Not only that, you should remember that you can only view Power BI files which are less than 1 GB. Otherwise, you cannot view that one. However, you don't need to worry about if your report is connected through the live mode over there. So then there is no restriction. Moreover, I'm going to provide you a link in the description section where you are going to read all other limitations, prerequisites, etc. with this feature. In case you have any question or concern, please do let us know in the comment section. Also, if you are looking for any Power BI or Microsoft Fabric training programs, you can directly connect with us. Not only that, if you are looking for any consulting services, then also we can help you over there. Till then guys, keep learning and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends and colleagues and keep learning. I'm going to see you in the next video.